The Honesdale Area JC's annual Wayne County Canoe Classic was held on a rainy Sunday this year, but the weather hardly put a damper on the event. They probably do uh, 15 races a year around the country, all the way and including uh, nationals. And been doing this race since it started sometime in the 80s. It actually got me started canoeing. I don't ever miss it if there's any choice, you know. It's not about winning, it's just going out and doing your best. You meet almost everyone that canoes seem to be really good people, you know. It's a real nice community, so two years ago we were out at Iowa at the National Championships and you see the same people that you do in Massachusetts at canoe races, so it's a real, uh, it's a, a nice community. Starting at Dyberry Creek, the Wayne County Fairgrounds, and ending at Factory Field in White Mills, the race takes over an hour and usually boasts over 100 canoers and kayakers in attendance. This is my first time doing it. Um, I'm going down with my dad. The last time I did this was last year, which is my first time doing it. Um, me and my dad actually did it. We got second place last year, so it was pretty fun. Probably been coming to the race six years. Six years now. I've had the boys doing it for the last four. The water doesn't really scare them away too much. It wouldn't be a true one outing without the rain. Safety is paramount and life jackets accompanied by a short lecture were provided by the Honesdale Area JCs. Unlike other races, each boater starts in succession 45 seconds apart, with individual times recorded electronically. This frees up the waterways and allows each racer all the space they need either to compete or take in the sights. I moved up last year here to Wayne County because it's beautiful. I love to hike, love to paddle. There ain't no such thing as bad weather. It's inappropriate gear. At 80, it's keeping me young. I refuse to slow down. Uh, it's good to be back out here at the 2019 canoe race. I took the six hour drive back last week. We canceled it, so I took another six hour drive back this week. I uh, came in all the way in from Ohio, but wouldn't miss it. This is the fourth year in a row I've done it. I did it four years ago, and I came in second. They gave us a hat that said second place on it, which I thought was fantastic.
and down from Delhi, New York. Uh, I love kayaking. I've been involved in the JCs for uh, more than 30 years up in New York. I thought this would be a great event to come down and uh, support. Coming ashore, it's just a quick jaunt through the finish line. While the scores are tallied, racers enjoy a picnic barbecue and a much needed rest. water in the boat, but overall we did great and everybody here did great. We won third place in Parent Child. The Wayne County Canoe Classic. Outdoor fun right in town. Hi, I'm Lorraine Collins with Davis R. Chant Realtors. With over 50 years of serving the Lake Wallenpaw Pack region, Chant Realtors sells more homes by volume than any other realtor in the area. The Lake Wallenpaw Pack area is an attractive place to live because of its low taxes, great school districts, and beautiful scenery. Agents at Davis R. Chant Realtors have an extensive knowledge of the local market and experience with everyone from first-time home buyers to experienced investors. Chant uses a variety of print media, billboards, open houses, and national websites to promote properties and reach buyers. We work with sellers to put together a thoughtful but aggressive market plan tailored to each home individually. Here at Chant, we know that working together and providing channels of communication and feedback is important for the best outcome when selling your home. We provide a unique feature called Seller's Dashboard to our sellers, which allow you to view up to the minute online information about your home, including how it is being marketed, how often it is being shown, and notes from agents and buyers. If you are ready to relocate, upgrade, downsize, or know anyone who is considering the Lake Region, please stop by or call Davis R. Chant Realtors at 570-226. 4518 or visit us online at chantre.com. i2Print is your premium printing service for all your professional printing needs. We'll help you throughout the printing process from design to distribution. With bookbinding abilities, we'll be able to help you get the word out or promote your business with branded assets and products. i2Print offers top quality print products at competitive prices with quick turnaround and fast delivery. From business cards, large format posters, brochures, and wrap cards, to annual reports, i2Print can print everything you need to promote your product, service, and business. With the best printing technology available today, we live up to our tag, service, speed, and success. Choose i2Print for your next printing project.
Over the last 10 years, the Civil War reenactment camp at the Columns Museum has provided a glimpse into the life of Civil War soldiers. This event highlights the equipment they used in the field, the uniforms and the clothing they wore, the food they ate at camp, and lifestyle during the late 1800s. Dedicated reenactors volunteer every year to entertain and educate the public and provide a glimpse into the past. The Columns Museum has a special significance as it is home to the Lincoln flag, placed under the head of the president after he was shot by John Wilkes Booth in the Ford Theater. The American flag stained with the president's blood is a reminder of the sacrifice made by Abraham Lincoln to unite a nation. More than just reenactors, these living historians bring the past to life with General Grant explaining why the Grants were not with the Lincolns at the Ford Theater. Lincoln tells me, you know, Laura Keene is, is playing tonight at Ford's Opera House. Our American cousin is having its 1,000th performance with the best known actress in the lead role. Would me and Mrs. Grant like to come along? I'd say that'd be fine, Mr. President. We, we will do that not knowing Julia had other plans. When I'm leaving that meeting from the mansion, waiting for my horse to be brought up, I get a note from Julia. And she said to me in that letter, I think we need to go home and see the children. She doesn't know about the invitation to go to the theater. Well, I went back up to Mr. Lincoln's office, shakes my hand again, puts his hand on my shoulder. And the most regrettable thing about this meeting, he looks me in the eye and he says, you and I will have plenty of time to go to theater over the next four years. You go home and see your family. And a day in the life of a Civil War soldier included a strict routine. Uh, Reverly would have been about five o'clock. I would have been up. I would have had roll call just to make sure that no, nobody had left the camp without, without permission. Uh, after roll call, I would have had breakfast call. I would have had my fine meal of salt pork and hardtack and my good cup of coffee. After that would have been um, medical call, sick call, is it belly ache, tummy ache, injured or hurt, I would have went to see the, the doctor, and after that would have been fatigue duty. Fatigue duty could have been anything as, as uh, helping move trees, fences, getting water, uh, marching, drilling, and so forth there. Every soldier in the Army had a specific job to do. The most important jobs involved communications. The bugler was responsible for letting the camp know when it was time to wake up, eat, go to sleep, and if enemy troops were approaching. The drummer was responsible for keeping the troops moving. The rhythm of the drum determined how quickly the soldiers marched. Drummers were the most important uh, part of an army because, was because they kept the rank moving in step. Each beat of the drum, like, it would be left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left, and each bang of the drum, the men would march forward from their left foot matching with the it would match the beat of the drum, and the officers would say, on the drum, forward, march. And along with the fifer, you could have an entire rank moving in formation, perfectly, by the beat of the drummer's drum. If the drummer was killed, it was kind of like losing the heart of the Union. In between marches, the soldiers would set up camp. In both armies, companies traveled with a central command tent, and often there would be a second camp of family and civilians nearby that provided support to the troops, including washing and mending uniforms, cooking food, and treating wounded soldiers. Other exhibits included toys from the 1800s, as well as civilian clothing of the time. 
Over the years, reenactors portrayed both Union and Confederate soldiers, but one of the most interesting reenactment weekends featured the 3rd Regiment of the United States Colored Troop reenactors of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. These living historians provided a unique glimpse into the role that African Americans played during the war against slavery. We really believe that if we don't tell these stories, they won't be told and people will not know. They left Philadelphia, we left Pennsylvania, people left from this very community to join the United States cultures down to Camp William Penn and fight. And old Abe had his fears. Everybody's wondering where's the colored volunteers. So give us a flag or free without a sleeve. We'll fight to defend it as our fathers did so brave. The gallant company A will make the rebels dance. And we'll stand by the union. Help keep we living history alive. Summertime is finally here, and Honesdale and Holly celebrate Memorial Day with hometown togetherness and remembrance. safe summer from all of us here at Wally Life. Sterling Business and Technology Park is currently divided into 23 lots ranging in size from 3 to 30 acres. Each lot in the park is KOZ certified for companies that qualify. The Sterling Business and Technology Park is perfectly located just off exit 17 on Interstate 84 in northeastern Pennsylvania, just under two hours from New York City. If you would like to explore locating your business at Sterling Business and Technology Park, visit sterlingbusinesspark.com. Hey folks, do you wonder why you see so many B&B Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram vehicles here in the Northeast? It's no secret, ask the owner. You'll find out B&B Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram in Honesdale not only offers great deals, but you can't beat the knowledgeable and friendly sales staff and the exceptional factory trained service technicians. Going shopping for a new or used vehicle? Stop by B&B Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Honesdale and make a deal. Get pre-approved. Check out our inventory. Go to bnbdodge.com or better yet visit our showroom at 125 Grandview Avenue, Honesdale. B&B Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. You'll love your new car or truck if you get it from B&B. Since 1962, Lake Wallenpaw Pack Scenic Boat Tours has offered guests the opportunity to sit back, relax, and enjoy a breathtaking cruise detailing the area and the history of the region. For those who want to be their own captain, Lake Wallenpaw Pack Scenic Boat Tours offers a variety of services, including pontoon boat, kayak, and paddleboard rentals. Lake Wallenpaw Pack Boat Tours and Rentals have everything you'll need for a day on the water. For more information, visit them at East Shore Lodging, 2487 Route 6 in Holly, or online at wallandpawpackboattour.com. 
For more information, visit wallandpawpackboattour.com or call 570-226-3293. Toast to Milford features tasty treats produced by local businesses as visitors wander between restaurants, delis, diners, and pubs throughout the community. This year's event was so well attended that many establishments ran out of samples early on this beautiful spring day. Locally produced foods and brews were featured throughout town as the guests packed the local venues. The diverse range of cuisine included everything from delicious crepes to delectable cold pea soup garnished with leeks and crispy shallots at the landmark Hotel Faucher, which hosts two distinct dining experiences, the Domonico Room and Bar Louis. The summer food scene in Milford offers a wide variety of culinary options and open-air dining at many locations as you mingle with famous authors, actors, and celebrities that frequent this historic hamlet. To explore all the dining options in Milford, stop by the local visitor center or simply take a scenic walk around town. Jim Thorpe is a beautiful, bustling little town that brings together the very best of the Poconos. Overflowing with Victorian charm and packed full of interest, the village formerly known as Mock Chunk certainly has something for everyone. From the busy shops on Broadway to the stately mansions just a few steps away, Jim Thorpe offers up something for every taste, style, palette, and niche. takes its namesake from 20th century athletic legend Jim Thorpe, whose final resting place is in a peaceful memorial garden just outside of town. Famous for his integrity, skill, and amicable nature, Jim Thorpe embodied the ideals of the good sportsman. The Mock Chunk Museum houses artifacts from Jim Thorpe's life as well as tells the story of an industrious town that came out on top, much like its Olympian hero. One of the most exciting things to do in Jim Thorpe is to take a ride on the Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway. Nothing finer than taking in the sights in an open-air car on a warm summer day. Regular trains depart three times daily on weekends, and the trip lasts some 70 minutes. blend of 
town and country, Jim Thorpe offers nature within reach. With easy river access to the Lehigh, one can enjoy kayaking and fishing. Bicycling is a pleasure with miles and miles of rail trail paths. Nearby Glen Onoko offers hiking trails and gorgeous waterfalls. Jim Thorpe is just as beautiful at night as it is in the light of day. Illuminated buildings and trees provide ambiance for a laid-back yet vibrant nightlife, centering around excellent restaurants, unique bars, and live entertainment. really enjoyed my trip to Jim Thorpe, and I'm sure you'd enjoy one too. The Visitors Bureau is really a tool for the visitors coming to the region to learn about all the great things that we have to offer as well as what our members have to offer. So stop by one of our five visitor centers like this one here in Milford. We also have visitor centers located at Lake Wall Paul Pack, in Honesdale at the train station, as well as in Jim Thorpe at the train station. And we also have one at our visitor center at the main offices of the Pocono Mountain Visitors Bureau in Stroudsburg. So when you're in town or you have friends in town or you're visiting, stop by one of the visitor centers to learn more and other great ways to visit us online at PoconoMountains.com or follow us on social media channels at Pocono Tourism. So you want to know what this whole Freedom Boat Club thing is all about. Simply put, we're a club that makes boating, well, simple. Here's how it works. You join the club. You pay a one-time membership fee, and then monthly dues from there on out. And instantly, you get access to a fleet of boats. As a member, their entire fleet is at your disposal. All those things you imagine boating to be suddenly become reality. When you're done, you simply head back to the dock where the boat club staff will be waiting. Leave the boat with them, and that's it. Tune in to Wally Life every Monday at 9 p.m. on Blue Ridge Communications Channel 13 for the latest in life around Lake Wallenpaulpack.